What do you do when you receive a gift? I hope that one of the things we all do is say thank you in some way. That thank you could be to say those very words. Thank you. Or a hug, or a card, or perhaps even a gift in return. But the point is, we have ways of showing gratitude for the gifts we receive from other people. What about the gifts we receive from the earth itself? As we begin this new month, our topic is earth. And that's a pretty big topic. This week, I am thinking about what we can learn from the earth about abundance. Our home planet offers us so much. Everything we have ever needed or wanted, we have made from what we have found here. There are many lessons we can learn from the overwhelming abundance of the earth. One is that the earth will keep on giving. That there is always going to be more, so we can take as much as we want, like a buffet that never stops getting refilled. Another lesson is that we human beings are the sole inheritors of all that the earth has to offer. We are the ones that the earth belongs to. This planet is our Eden, created for us to dwell within, to accept as our gift. Or perhaps the lesson is that we can use our intellect to make the earth give us enough to support our growing population. If we are clever, we can get the earth to provide us enough meat, crops, minerals, and drinking water to keep our modern way of life going in perpetuity. Robin Wall Kimmerer offers us different lessons to learn from the earth in her book, Braiding Sweetgrass. I particularly like the juxtaposition between the indigenous creation story of Sky Woman and the biblical one of Eve. In Sky Woman's story, she arrives on the earth and plants all that we have, tends to these gifts she has brought with her from above to cultivate a garden that we humans can help grow. In Eve's story, we start in the garden itself, already made for us, and then we are booted for misdeeds and forced to labor the rest of our days. In the first story, our exemplar is a gardener preparing the way for future generations. In the second story, our lot is to be a refugee on this planet, doing what we must to survive until we return home. I think many of the lessons we have learned are the wrong lessons. They grow out of the second story of being exiled. We act as though the earth is a buffet that is always overflowing. We sometimes forget about all the people and lives who keep it filled. We see the earth as something created for us. All we need to do is pick up what is on offer. Whether the offerer is God or luck. We don't spend a lot of time wondering at our good fortune before accepting. And we think we are smart enough to trick the earth. If the buffet closes or our luck runs out, we can invent our way out of the mess and not have to, sa and not have to sacrifice our way of life. Too many of the ways we act are in line with these lessons. I hope, though, that we can listen more deeply to what the earth is trying to teach us with the gift of abundance. The mistake we make is one of perspective. For many of us, our stories begin in the garden and we forget the gardener. That is the wisdom I hear in the story of Sky Woman. She didn't land on the earth in the midst of bounty. She had to grow it and tend it before the harvest came. In that way, we can reimagine the lessons we have been taught. Our intellect still plays a role in helping things grow. We need to be smart to learn how to be in balance with the natural world. And we have learned quite a bit about how to create what we need. The lesson, perhaps, is that we may be smart enough to find a different way of life to support with our cleverness. The idea that all the earth offers is a present is not necessarily a bad one either. 
The piece we need to reframe is that the card on the package may not just have our name on it. The gift is not solely for we humans, but for all of life. And I believe we need to practice more often the other part of being gifted something, saying thank you. And that buffet can tempt us to take too much. I've been there. I have thought to myself, well, I already paid for the meal, so I want to get my money's worth. What I see here is again a need to expand our perspective beyond the plate in our hands and the buffet before us. We need to think about being the wait staff that refill the buffet and the kitchen staff that prepare the food and those in the fields that help us grow and raise all that life that will become food. I challenge us to think about being the earth itself, creating the life that sustains us. Herein lies the lesson of abundance given. When we take a look at the larger interdependent web that exists around those gifts, we are being invited into relationship, a relationship that has expectations going both ways, a relationship built around covenant. When people ask Robin Wall Kimmerer how to restore relationship between land and people, her answer is almost always, plant a garden. That is the lesson the earth can teach us through giving us so much. Not to take more, but to find ways to replace what we are given, to use all that we receive, and to learn how much time goes into an apple. Before we pick the fruit, a seed must be planted, a sapling must sprout, and a tree must grow. Long before Eve picked the apple, Sky Woman planted the tree. The more time we spend tending gardens, the more we can appreciate the abundance of the harvest.